Hey guys, Kamak up here, and today I'm going to be doing a different video. Um, this is actually a requested video from someone called the Noibat Gamer. So if you're watching Noibat Gamer, I know it took a little bit, but I, I'm I, I'm getting on it. Um, uh, basically, what this is is how to build a video. Now I've asked multiple times. Uh, on my different mock builds if anyone wanted to see how to you know build some of the mocks and I haven't gotten any responses other than this one <clears throat> and luckily it was on one that wasn't too hard to rebuild um, because most of the time I take my mocks apart if I don't really care too much about them so uh, today we're gonna be rebuilding this Raptor now, obviously, I had to rebuild him. So, the parts that I used originally for him, some of them are currently in use, meaning it's the same build, but not the same colors. As you can see, the colors are sort of all over the place. And, uh, yeah. I hope that doesn't bother you too much, because to me, it doesn't really matter that much, being you could really make it, at, make it any color you wanted anyway. I uh, just put different armor plates on and different colors and boom now you have your own color uh, you can do it however you want it's customizable obviously but yeah today we're gonna learn how to build this Raptor it's extremely easy well pr pretty easy I wouldn't say extremely but it's pretty easy um, so I'm gonna get down to the parts right now okay for the pieces you're going to want to need four of these little armor plates here um, of any color doesn't matter what color you choose whatever color you want it to be um, so this is the smallest armor plate size so there you can compare it yourself if you don't know what size it is there but you're going to need four of those in any color two of the smallest size in any color this headpiece, uh, which comes in all the creature sets, uh, this one came from the jungle creature set, which is why it's got that green, um, but you can get one from uh, any of the sets. Um, another note, this these eyes here aren't black on the actual piece. I painted them, so I did that just because it looks better. If you don't want to paint them, you could use like Sharpie or something, because that works really well too. Um, you're also going to need two of these, uh, these pieces here, because they're going to clip onto the head, and you're going to need four more of those pieces, and those pieces will be for the hands, there's two on each hand that act as the claws, um, there's also this piece here the bar piece with the separators uh, that these clip to now if you don't have these pieces you could use like droid arms if you don't have droid arms you, should, you can uh, also use a minifigure hands um, so that works uh, and you're going to need two of these pieces because these are the hands and the claw just attaches like that you're going to need two of these feet. Um, these come in the protector sets. So if you have any of the protectors, you'll have these kind of feet. Um, I'm not sure if they come in any of the skeleton warriors or anything like that. Uh, I got all the ones of these that I have from the protector sets. So that's how I know where those are from. Um, but if you have those, that's what you're going to use. Of course, you could use any feet, but... I just find that those work the best. Um, also, if you want, you can put some claws on these clips here just to make it more raptor esque, I guess. So, yeah, you can do that. Um, the tail is extremely simple. Um, these are the parts you need to build the tail. You're going to need one of these ball joint pieces here with the cross beam through the center. Um, if you don't have one of these, you can try to find the other 
version of this that doesn't have that all the way through and it has like a rounded top with the pin that only goes in a little bit um, you can use that kind uh, if you don't have that um, you can use a uh, one of those pieces I think it's it's called like a something neck it's got the ball joint on it and then it's got the uh, connector bit that has a uh, axle and a pin point on it um, but yeah if you don't have that you could use those and connect that um, but this is how you do the tail uh, you get one of these blue pin and axle combos and this piece and just plug that in like that and then you're going to need two of these pieces and you're just going to pop them together and then you take this and you pop it into there and that is basically the main build of the tail the body is extremely simple to do uh, what you're going to need for the body is one of these really small protector bodies um, <laughs> you're gonna need yeah protector body and you're gonna need some more of these you're gonna need a total of four of these for the body um, two up here two down here you're going to need the smallest side of this ball joint here and that'll clip down to the lower ones and then you're going to need this piece um, of course any of these pieces could be any color you want um, this piece that has this little bar in the middle uh, for comparison just to make it easier there it is combined to the ball joint just so you know what it looks like and yeah that is going to be the connection for the head and neck area and that's the torso this is the last part you're going to need, and this is completely optional, as is everything here. Um, is a little toothpiece. could be in uh, any color. <clears throat> if you don't have a toothpiece, uh, you could use other things from Bionicle sets that also have this little sort of peggish connection point. And that's just going to go <clears throat> in the little hole that's in the front of the head. So yeah, that's what that's for. Okay, now we can get on to building it. So, what you're going to want to do is get this body built right here. I'm going to just hold it here for a few seconds. You can pause the video now if you need to, to look at how it's built. That's how you do that. Um, now, after you've built the body, you're going to take the feet part and plug them on to the bottom here like so just like that then I'm just gonna go over the hand build really quickly um, I need one of these pieces um, there are old and new versions of this piece as you can see here I have two different pieces uh, this is the older style I believe this is the newer one uh, it doesn't matter which one you use it's just this one's a slight bit more fragile so you're gonna be one yeah you're gonna be wanna. You're gonna wanna be more careful if you have this iteration. Iteration just means this type. If you don't know what iteration means, um, then you have this bar clip piece that I talked about earlier with the separators. That is just going to clip onto the very end, and then you take your claw pieces and just clip them onto the edges here that are separated. And there you have those, so you're going to want to do that twice, <clears throat> and any colors you want. Then, you're just going to plug them on here, to that. Eh. Um, here's another shot, just so you know how that looks. You can pause it there, if you need to. Okay, so now that you have all of that done... Uh, the head is going to be the last thing we put on. Eh. The head is going to be the last thing that we put on. Because I feel like the head is more of like a finalizing thing. Um, but here is where stuff starts changing. 
uh, from super simple to slightly more thinking. Um, what you're going to do is I already showed you how to build a tail. So once you get that, there is this little ball joint, little piece in the center here of the protector body. And this pin is going to go through that hole right there of the rounder piece and that will plug in right there there will be one hole between this assembly and the ball joints for the legs and that will just go down that's his tail and then all we have to do now is put the head and the armor plates on so for the tail you're going to want to take one of these longer pieces plug it onto the very end here the very last ball joint like so and then you're going to want to take another one of those and put it on this ball joint right here and just plug it on there and we don't want to put anything on this ball joint because that'll limit the range of movement the articulation that it has it'll make it so it has less freedom um, that's why we put the this armor bit on the last ball joint and not that one so remember that after that what we're going to do is super simple all we're going to do now is eh. <laughs> all we're going to do now is make this guy into a wrapper form and then put the armor plates on so to do the raptor form what you got to do is make sure the tail is flat like so then you're going to want to move these arms up and out of the way. Move all that over there just to get it out of the way for now. Then what you're going to want to do is these connections here. You're going to rotate this. And then you're going to rotate the foot as well. So now you have a bend here sort of like a knee. And you also have bending in the foot. Then what you're going to want to do is take this symbol, this uh leg area bring this whole thing forward and bend it right there at that knee and then you have a leg done so once you do that you're going to do it to the other side as well rotate this rotate that then bring this forward and bend this up this arm keeps coming off because it's slightly cracked there um, that's another thing you're probably gonna want to make sure you have strong pieces um, but yeah uh, once you have that then what you're gonna want to do the arms are already forward so what you're gonna want to do is bring the head neck piece here up then you're going to take these armor paint yeah, armor plates, the second longest one. Here it is again, just to show you. This one. And you're going to want to just plug it onto the legs, like so. And then for the arms, you're going to want to just bend this up like that, like an elbow on both arms, and then attach the smallest armor plate onto the arms like so then the very last step is taking the creature head and popping it onto the neck ball joint after you've done that there you have your raptor so I hope you enjoyed uh, Noibat Gamer um, uh, this video was for you um, and anyone else who wanted to know how to build this as always if you Haven't then you could comment down below on one of my mock videos to see if I can build that uh, Show how to build on that um, I Would prefer it be something that's a little bit simpler. I don't want anything like Super crazy because then I'll have to go grab a whole lot of pieces and it might be hard to figure out how to rebuild it but something like this is fine. Um, thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to hit that like button down below to show me that you did. 
As always, if you haven't already, make sure also hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to make sure you don't miss out on any new content from the channel. And I'll see you guys later.